Hi guys, I'm glad you came to be with me today. We're gonna talk about Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is a really long mass because we hear two different gospel readings. But today, we're just gonna talk about one of them, which has to do with the palms. But before we get started, let's call Pete. Hey Pete, Pete, where are you? I'm here. Oh Pete, hi. You're here with us. Hi guys. I've missed you. I miss them too. I really like to come and talk to them for a little bit. Pete, do you know what this Sunday is? Mm, remind me. Pete, this is Palm Sunday. Oh, Palm Sunday. Like everybody's hands? Hands? What are you talking about, Pete? You know. Hands have palms. <laughs> You're right. Hands do have palms, but we're not talking about those kind of palms. We're talking about palms that are from plants. They're the leaves of some plants. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, I think it does too. Pete, what would you say if I told you that Palm Sunday actually started a long time ago? Well, tell me more. Okay, so the story that we hear actually started on December 25th. Hmm, Christmas? <laughs> yes, Christmas. What do we celebrate on Christmas? Presents? Presents, Pete. We celebrate Jesus. Oh yeah, that's right. So Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Pete, what have we learned between the birth of Jesus and now Palm Sunday? Hmm, well, we learned about the three wise men coming to visit him. That's right, the three wise men or the magi came to visit um, Jesus when he was a baby. What else? Mm, how about when he got lost in the temple? Ah, you're talking about when Mary and Joseph and Jesus went to the temple to pray, and on their way back home, they lost Jesus. But really, he wasn't lost. He was in the temple the whole time teaching about God's word. What else? He got baptized. You're right. Jesus got baptized by his cousin, John the Baptist. And he, do you remember when he went up to the top of the mountain with some of his friends? And he rose up from the ground and turned this brilliant, beautiful, dazzling white. Oh, yeah. Isn't that called the transfiguration? That's right, Pete. It's called the transfiguration both in the story of the transfiguration and in the baptism of Jesus, we hear God's voice, how he reminds us that Jesus is the son of God. Is there anything else that stands out? Hmm, well, Jesus made a blind man see. You're right, Jesus performed lots of miracles throughout his ministry to help remind people and to show them the power of God. So he did things like healing the sick, making the blind man see, and last week we heard about how he rose his friend Lazarus from the dead, which is a wonderful, beautiful miracle. And when Jesus what he would do when he was teaching, he went to all the different towns and he would tell the people about God's word and about God's love and how much God loves us and wants us to love everyone else. Jesus showed us through his own action how to care for one another, which is really special. So we're going to talk about Palm Sunday now, and I'm going to give you some hints of some things you're going to see and hear about in this gospel reading. Pete, do you know what this is? A uh, leaf? 
<laughs> That's right, it's a leaf. This is actually one that I made out of paper, and you can make your own too. This is a palm, and the palm is like, it's, it's part of a leaf of a plant, and on Palm Sunday, we learn about how the people of Jerusalem put palms down on the ground along with their clothes and other things for Jesus to walk on as he came into Jerusalem. They'd also wave them in the air to celebrate Jesus coming. Hmm, I have something else here too, Pete. I have this. Can you see what that is? What does that look like to you? Hmm. It's not an alligator. <laughs> You're right, Pete. It is not an alligator. This is a donkey. I love donkeys. Me too. I think they're kind of cute. This one's really soft. So in the gospel story today, we hear about how Jesus rides on a donkey, which is really interesting. Okay. You ready to hear the story? Oh, yeah. I love stories about Jesus. You know what? Me too. Okay, guys. So on Palm Sunday, Jesus is coming into Jerusalem and people are so excited because they've heard about how Jesus has been talking about God's love and about how Jesus has been healing people and they're believing in in Jesus they're believing that he's the son of God and he's the the Messiah and so they are preparing for this big celebration because they know that Jesus is coming so let's listen to what the gospel has to tell us On Sunday, Jesus stepped outside the city of Jerusalem, and he asked two of his disciples to bring to him a donkey. Jesus rode the donkey into the city of Jerusalem, and people came out to welcome him. And they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus. People put their clothes on the road and cut branches from the trees and laid them on the road as well. And they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus, you came in God's name. Hmm. How do you think the people in the story show their love for God? They came to celebrate him. They came to cheer him on and to, and to show them that they cared so much about him that they would come out of their towns and they laid, they laid their precious belongings on the ground for him to walk on. Now remember, Jesus rode in on a donkey. Well, if Jesus was powerful and he's the son of God, do you know people that ride around on donkeys? Not too often. Most of the time, donkeys are used for carrying materials and things like that to help with building and, and for work. And so for Jesus to ride on, ride into town on a donkey, that's another way that he shows us how humble he is. He doesn't want to be to ride on an elegant big horse. He wants us to know that he's just like us. Um, which we've talked about before, right? Remember when he had feeling, he has feelings and friends just like you and me. And remember the people were yelling, Hosanna, Hosanna. Jesus is the son of God. And that means save us. We believe it's like, hooray, hooray, you're here. They were so excited that they came, that he came in. They were hoping that he could help save them and he could help them the way that he'd been helping all of the people that he had encountered on his ministry. We have a picture this week of Jesus riding into Jerusalem and he's riding on a donkey and there's people waving their, their um, palms or their clothes. There's a little, there's a little child giving him flowers and they're all so happy. They're so excited to see him. 
Palm Sunday reminds us that people did love Jesus. But it also reminds us that some people were a little bit scared about how powerful Jesus was because he was the son of God. And when people get scared, they they sometimes don't do the right thing. So the second gospel on Palm Sunday is called the Passion or the Gospel of the Passion. And what that is, is Jesus's journey to the to the cross where where we know that he died. But the, the beautiful part of that is that he did that to show his love for us, and God's love for us. Um, and he did that so that he could free us from our sins and so that we may live in heaven with God forever. And also, we have to remember that the story doesn't end with him dying on the cross. The story ends on Easter with him rising from the dead, which is so beautiful and amazing. We're going to talk about that a lot this week. This coming week is Holy Week. And so we have Holy Thursday, where we learn about the Last Supper, where Jesus ate with with his apostles um, and he washed their feet and he prayed with them. And we learn about Good Friday, which is the day that Jesus dies. And then we, we learn about Holy Thursday and then Easter Sunday, of course. So I am so excited to walk you through this Holy Week. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I thought maybe we could say we could sing another song. Last week, we talked about um, Jesus' emotions and our emotions. And we sang, if you're happy, you know, clap your hands. Well, this week, let's sing the same song, but we're going to sing um, things like Hosanna and hello to celebrate Jesus coming um, coming into our, into our town, into our lives. So we're going to say, if you're happy and you know it, shout hello. And we'll keep going that. And then we're going to say, if you're happy and you know it, shout Hosanna. And then if you're happy and you know it, shout welcome Jesus. We can do this by waving our flags in the air, right? So let's start. If you're happy and you know it, shout hello. Hello. If you're happy and you know it, shout hello. Hello. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, shout Hosanna. If you're happy and you know it, shout Hosanna. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout Hosanna. If you're happy and you know it, shout Welcome Jesus. If you're happy and you know it, shout, welcome, Jesus. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout, welcome, Jesus. All right. This is my son, Joseph, and he is going to help me welcome Jesus today on Palm Sunday. Now you're speaking. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Hey, guys. 